good morning students welcome to video classes part 2 how are you all hope you are enjoying online classes today we'll go through the 10th class english lesson first of all just we'll go through the cover page What is the title of our textbook children? Our world through English. It means we can see the world or we can enter the world through English. Why this title is like this? As English language is an international language and it is a window language. We can get more knowledge through English language as most of the knowledge is embedded in English language. See children, see the logo of this textbook. There are eight parts on the cover page. These eight parts resemble eight units. Each unit has a theme. So the theme is printed on the cover page. And we can understand that the theme is in all the three readings of each unit. So altogether we have eight units. Each unit contains three Readings, A reading, B reading and C reading. Okay, children. These we can go through next lessons. Unit 1. Just will go through the style sheet. See, children, this is a personality development. The theme is personality development. See the picture. A reading, B reading and C reading. Personality development is the theme. And there is a nice picture. And some alphabet are there. There is a pencil. You can understand. This all depends on creativity. We can get more ideas. A person can develop his personality through education. What is meant by personality students? Personality means not the physical personality. Height, weight, color, or the structure. These are not. Personality means internal behavior or thoughts like that. That is the way how we behave. Later on you can understand in the lessons. How to develop this personality? There are two types of people. Some people are inferior and superior. Some people think we are very low in some aspects just like education, physical structure, body color, skin color, illiterate, that type of aspects leads to people think very low. This is called inferior feeling. Always they have low profile. And some other people are there, superior. They think they are very high in all aspects. We are very charming. We can do anything. I am great. Like that. These type of people cannot cooperate or lead their life in a smooth way in the society. 
they have to think or they have to change their feelings or face the situations in a positive way why this theme personality development is introduced to 10th class students yes it's a great thing why because we have to develop at this age it means students at the age of 14 15 and 16 they have to develop their personality in many aspects that's why this lesson is introduced to the 10th class students let us see the face sheet here see children there are three people personality development it means no doubt the title is suitable for them it means these people change their attitude or behavior or thoughts and they become successful people you might have known who are these people and about them also and first one is sudha chandran stephen hawk and the third one is helen keller they faced many problems in their lives and they become successful people in the society they are celebrities you might have read about the biographies of three people sudha chandran met with an accident at the age of 16 and she lost her leg but later on facing so many difficulties she successfully achieved her goal to become a dancer and second person see the picture children see how his face is his neck on seeing the picture itself you can understand that he he is suffering from some problem muscular dystrophy his health condition is called muscular dystrophy he cannot move he can he <coughs> but he can made the life very successful by inventing many many things next we can go through the third person helen keller as we all know she is a blind woman and she invented the braille script which is very much useful to the blind people so without getting depression or feeling inferior she want to face the life and she made a way a highway to the people especially physically handicapped who are those according to her blind people and she made that she invented that uh, braille script with the help of that many people become successful here we can understand briefly about these three people regarding their personality development how how you can understand all those things they students they overcome the difficulties and they changed their thoughts they don't want to blame anyone they set some goals and they become successful this is the way we have to face many problems which we are facing in our life and we have to develop our personality to lead 
a good life. Okay, next. We can see under that picture, under that face sheet, you can see the three questions. Do you know these people? What is their speciality? So, now I have introduced them. You can understand. And you can write what is their speciality. They are celebrities or very successful people in the life. You can write your own answers. What qualities do you think a person requires to become successful? Yes, first of all, determination, good thoughts, cooperation. They have to seek somebody's help also. First of all, they have to change their attitude also. Okay, children, after listening this, what are the qualities you think a person requires to become successful? You can write. Third question, what is your opinion about the attitude of society towards individuals with the special needs? What is the word here, special needs? General living. Some people, those who are physically handicapped or mentally challenged people, they need special treatment. Yes, okay. And uh, what is the opinion of the society? Society means people. What do they think? Oh, these people can't do anything. They have to sit aside. They can't do anything. It is very difficult for them. Like that, society's attitude towards the special people. And what is your opinion about the attitude of society towards individuals with special needs? This is the question. You can write your own answer. How people think. As children, you might have known some people in your villages also who become successful with special needs. Yes, in each every village, in our families also, you can see, you can think and you can write your answer. This is called face sheet or picture description. In every unit it will be there. Okay, let us go to a reading. Wow, see the picture students. You know who is he? Yes. On watching this you can understand his name is Nick Vijay. He is a Tarso. What is he doing? He is in water. He has no hands and legs. But he is very happy. What is he doing? He is swimming. How can it possible? How come? Yes. That is called personality development. Under this theme, we are going to learn about Nick in this A-reading. What is the title of this A-reading, children? Attitude is Altitude. What is attitude? Okay. Suppose I will give you an example. Oh, today we have to prepare 10 posters or 10 invitations. Like that, a student shares his feelings with his friend. Oh, it is very difficult. We can't do all those. 
see the attitude of these two people that is thought or opinion or the idea these are all called attitude and the behavior oh i it is not possible to prepare 10 posters his attitude is like that his idea is like that first uh, first student told no 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 we have to complete all those 10 posters in a day his attitude is like that our attitude is altitude altitude means high level high level in the sea we can see that one the waves we can raise we can't we can't say how much height altitude means unlimited okay children our thoughts are nothing but our success it means altitude attitude is altitude means our thoughts behavior and ideas are nothing but our success in our life that is called personality development so after going through this unit i hope the same from you let us see this content we can see the content and we can read this one yes children now for timing i'll read this one you to follow this one i am giving modal reading imagine having no arms to stretch in the morning to help you scratch that itch to allow you to wrap your arms around your loved ones imagine having no legs to kick pebbles down in the street to walk or run to bicycle or skateboard or get you from point A to point B then imagine both at once which is what nick widget has faced his whole life have you heard something like this before okay students you see this one first pair up you have to imagine what you have to imagine there are two points the other mentioned in the first paragraph imagine without arms in the morning how do you feel some points are there yes one one is first one is stretching no arms to stretch in the morning second one is to scratch that itch third one is to allow you wrap your arms around your loved ones why because i am giving you children you have to read the textbook or the content very clearly otherwise you can't understand why because in paper 1 and paper 2 also you are having 30 marks for reading comprehension without uh, comprehensive reading we can't get the ideas okay next imagine having no legs to kick pebbles down the street this is one point to walk or run number 2 to bicycle or skateboard 3 or get you from point a to point b 4 this uh, here in these two sentences in the first uh, sentence the things we do with arms and in second sentence uh, things we do with uh, legs then imagine both at once see how clearly it was explained then th- imagine both at once which is what nick vijay has faced his whole life so here introducing of the hero of this lesson nick so he is not having arms and legs 
Have you heard something like this before? He is asking. Next we will go through the second paragraph. Nick Vijic was born with no arms and legs. But he doesn't let the details stop him. The brave 26 year old who is mainly a torso plays football and golf, swims and surfs despite having no limbs. So introducing Nick here we get more information about Nick. Who is a torso? Okay children, a person without legs and arms is called a torso. What is his age? 26 years. And what did he play? He plays football, golf, uh, swims and serves despite having no limbs. That is the main point. Okay children. So here the details about Nick. Next we will go to the Nick has a small foot on his left hip which helps him balance and enables him to kick. He uses his one foot to type, write with a pen and pick things up between his toes. Wow! See, he has a small foot on his left hip. Okay, he has no arms and legs but a small foot, a small structure is there when he was born uh, on his left hip which helps him balance to stand like that and enables him to kick. Enable means to do. To do him, to kick. Kick means if we uh, beat with leg it is called a kick. He uses his uh, uh, one foot to type write with a pen and pick things up between his toes. Here three things he can do with his foot. Where is it children? On his left hip. What are the things he is doing with this left small foot? So you can write all the three things. I call it my chicken drumstick. Joke Nick. So, his actual words are written here. I call it. Here it means what children? It means a small foot. My chicken drumstick. He put a nickname for that one. Chicken drumstick. Joke Nick. Who was born in Melbourne, Australia. But now lives in Los Angeles. Okay. I would be lost without it. It means, he says, where did he born children? He was born in Melbourne. And where is Melbourne? Australia. But lives in Los Angeles. I would be lost. Lost means nothing. I would be nothing. I am no more. It means, and in other words, I, I am no more without it. What is it here students? It means a small foot on his left hip. Okay. Hope you understand these three and we will see this next one. Due to his faith as an evangelical Christian, Nick has chosen to remain a virgin until marriage. So, he is a Christian and and uh, the feelings and uh, beliefs of this evangelical Christian, he want to uh, be very perfect in all aspects. He is very modest, but he gets marriage proposals from women all the time, said Nick's friend and publicist Steve Apple from Los Angeles. Okay, students. Here, even though he is a torso, he is getting many marriage proposals. Who said this, these words? His friend. Who is his friend? Steve Apple. Who is Steve Apple? Nick's friend and publicist. 
from Los Angeles. Where did he live? Steve Apple lives in Los Angeles. Next para. He would love to get married and start a family, but he is waiting for the right girl to come along. So he is thinking about his family and he want to marry a right girl. What is the meaning of this right girl students? Who can understand him? Why? Because it is di very difficult for her to manage him and to help him to cooperate with him. Why? Why students? Yes. Why? Because he is a torso. It is very difficult. What sports are in Nick's Oh, sorry, water sports are a Nick's only thing. He also plays golf with a club. Okay. Club tucked under his chin and is a huge fan of English Premier League. Okay, students, this is the thing we want to learn today. In the last sentences, you can understand water sports are his favorite things and he plays golf also. How did he play golf? Club means just um, a pole, a rod which he can put under his neck and he plays it. Okay, and he is a huge fan of English Premier League. It means English Premier League means that is football league. Okay, students, hope you understand this one. And today I am giving some questions this, uh, on this topic. You can write. Who is Nick? Where did he born? Where did he live? What is a chicken drumstick according to Nick? Who is Steve Apple? And what do you understand about Nick from this page? These are the questions you have to follow and you have to write answers after this lesson. Okay students, hope you understand this one and have a nice reading. Then you can get the answers. Okay, bye students. Thank you.